Hello, my name is Graysella. My students call me Teacher Grace. For my um, for my Korean students, they call me Teacher Grace. For my Japanese students, they call me Teacher Jersey. Because there are two Teacher Grace there, so I use Jersey. And um, my Chinese students, they call me Teacher Grishala. But you can call me Teacher Grace as well. So in this lesson, or in this video, I will be teaching you on how to do the demo for adults. And this is a demo adult tutorial. Let's begin. So this is adult lesson. Basically, you're going to, you're not, you do not, not need to sound like a perky. You don't need to sound like, you need to sound like active and energetic, but not too much. You know, too much is a good, too much of a good stop is a bad stop. I forgot that saying in Chinese. <laughs> okay, so easy beat one, something like that, but I'm not sure. Okay, now let's begin. Remember, you're going to start with the tech check. Hello, can you hear me? Great. Can you see me? Perfect. Remember, you have to ask that because sometimes the student cannot hear you. You are you keep on speaking and they do not understand what you're saying. Or the student wants to see you or wants to see you. So you should ask, can you see me or can you hear me? Okay. Now, the next stop, you're going to do the self-introduction and build rapport. How are you going to do that? Let's see. Now, how are you going to introduce yourself and build rapport? Okay. First, my name is Teacher Grace, and welcome to my class. I will be your English teacher for today. What is your name? Well, what a lovely name. Then you have to say the name of the student. For example, Joy. What a lovely name, Joy. Joy, nice to meet you. You do the hand gesture to show respect. Okay, how do you do? Remember, how do you do is the question you ask for the first time meeting. You will ask, how were you if it's the second day, the third day, fourth day meeting in your class? And what do you do? Could be a, a student, could be a teacher, a student in a university, whatever his job is. All right. So, okay. So, if I may ask, why do you want to improve your English? So the student might say, I want to go abroad, I want to keep, I want to study abroad, and I want to travel. Or sometimes they would say, um, I want to find a better job. All right. So those are the things because for my job. Now, normally traveling and then for their jobs. Okay. So, wow, good to hear that. Do not worry because I can help you to improve your spoken English and become confident in speaking the English language. Because our main goal here is that you, as my student, would speak 70%. And I, as your teacher, or me, as your teacher, would speak 70% or 30%. All right? So that's a deal. Now, you can also say, I am here to help you become globally competitive using the English language. Okay? Now, now let's go to the next topic. So now you're going to build, go to the lesson itself or the lesson flow. Now, um, you have to ask basic questions that are related to the lesson. What makes you busy? So the student might say, my studies, my work, like that. And are you always busy? Not really. Yes, too much. Uh, so, so busy. Now, I ask you that question because today, we're going to talk about issue number one, are you busy? Could you read the title? Very good. Now, introduce the learning objective. That is very important. Now, in this lesson, you will be able to talk about reasons that make people busy. Okay? Now, please read a passage. Ta -da. You might want to say, um, you might want to say, do you want to read yourself or do you want to read after me? Normally, some students would say, um, let me give it a try. So, which means they want to read first. Or some students would say, after you. So, whatever the request is, you just have to follow. So, in this case, let's pretend that the student is listening or reading. Now, when the student is reading, remember, listen very carefully. Try underlining the words what the student is reading. Okay? So, for example, 
most people today claim to be extremely busy. But I wonder if are they are really any busier than people who live at other times. Da-da-da to them all. Remember, go to the highlight and highlight the mis or the mispronounced words. For example, generally, idleness, um, compelled. For example, those are the mispronounced words. Wow, very good. Now let's practice some mispronounced words here. Can you say generally? One more time. Generally. Nice. Good job. Next up, idleness. Very good. One more time. Idleness. Next up, compelled. One more time. Compelled. Now, contrary to the kids' lesson, for the kids' lesson, you have to say very good by showing a picture. Good work. Right? You're, wow, you are amazing. Here's an apple for you. But for the adults, you don't need to show pictures like that. You just give phrases. But you just say, very good, very good, excellent. Until the end of the lesson, only those. So it would be better if you're going to use transition, different transition words like awesome, excellent. That's amazing. Wow, cool job. That's great. Nice one. Never say, oh, that's not correct. Because students might feel intimidated. Okay? Do not intimidate the student. Do not let them feel down or be ashamed. Okay? If the student is not correct when it comes to mispronouncing words, never say, you are not correct. Just say, oh, no, that is not the correct pronunciation. You do not say that. Now, let's just practice some of these words. Okay? Generally, compelled idleness all right very good now do you after reading let's go to this one as you can see after reading the passage please ask the student do you understand the passage if the student says yes yes oh wow that's good can you try to explain the passage in your own words now listen to the student let the student speak. Let the student explain the passage. All right. Wow. Very good. Now, if for some instance, the student would say no, then that's the time that you're going to explain. But this is just a, re a recording. So basically, you have a speaking partner or a teacher would be your speaking partner. So there, of course, you already practice, right? But in the in the scenario that you are already teaching, then of course, do not forget to add to that. Then of course, do not forget to ask the student, do you have any questions about the passage before we move to the next activity? Okay, and also don't forget, let us practice some mispronounced words. Example, idleness, generally and compelled. All right, do you have any questions? All right, if you have no questions, now let's go. So it says here, go to the questions and let the student read. Let the student explain those phrases and sentences. All right, now here are some reasons that keep people busy. Could you read the first one? My family, my concerns, yada da, I just pretend to be busy. All right, very good. Now, which of these do you think, in your case, make you busy? Oh, your job, but you are not a student. Oh, uh, you are not working, so you are a student. So yeah, basically, your studies make you busy. All right. Now, um, let's talk about these uh things here. Why do you think family concerns make people busy? Maybe because uh, parents need to work hard, right? The mother needs to take care of the kid and look after them. Then you have to cultivate relationship with others. So you are going to ask, but this is not you to explain. Let the student explain these for you. Now, if the student do not doesn't understand, then that's the only time for you to help. Remember the 70% speaking time. Okay. All right. So the other one, I just pretend to be busy. Okay. Very good. Now you did a great job. Congratulations. Do you have any questions? All right, if you have no questions, you did a very good job. So then don't, go, don't forget to do the wrap up. Wow, you did great. Uh, you did a great job. So, and 
um, for today, you need to praise the student where he or she is good at. For example, you did great in explaining the passage. Also, um, give the students a mispronounced word. And of course, that is what you call the sandwich method. Okay, what is sandwich method? Good, bad, good, bad. Okay, we call it the sandwich method. So, you did a great job. You are awesome. Congratulations. And in this lesson, you did great in explaining the passage. However, you have mispronounced some words such as idleness, generally, and compelled. And lastly, do not forget to encourage the student to keep practicing speaking English every day. So you would say, please practice speaking English every day because it will make you a better English speaker. All right. And encourage the student to book you again and give a homework. For your homework, please study the next issue. Please book me again so we can improve your English. Once again, this is Teacher Grace saying, Thank you very much. All right. I'll see you again next time. Bye. So that's how you are going to have the demo. Do you have any questions? Um, this is the end of this video tutorial about how to do the lesson recording or lesson uh, demo for the adult. All right. More videos will be shown in our next lesson. <laughs> next lesson. Next video. That's it for today. And see you. Bye.